Hearing aid batteries come in four main sizes. The colour coding on them is international, so you will find that yellow batteries are always size 10 batteries around the world. 312 batteries are brown batteries, 13 batteries are orange, and 675s are blue. The letters prior to the battery number like P312 or S312 are meaningless numbers given by other companies. Because they are a zinc air battery they have air holes in the battery top and do not activate until the sticker is detached from the battery. At that point the hearing aid battery will start degrading whether it is used or not. So removing the batteries should only removing the sticker should only be done just before using the actual battery. It is also not a good idea to have the batteries removed from the packet and touching each other, even with the sticker still attached, as this has been known to drain the batteries. Often, because of the adhesive on the sticker, it may take up to a minute for the hearing aid battery to start working after removal of the sticker. On the back of all packets, you will find a form of expiry date. Uh, this date is usually two to three years down the track. If you use a battery past its expiry date, you will find that its lifespan is um, reduced significantly. If a battery is three months old, you will already find that you get half the amount of usage from it. When it's over six months old, you'll only get the battery working for 10, 20 minutes before it turns off. So if you're having problems with batteries, always check the expiry date and try and use old batteries before starting new. You will find on the packets of most batteries some form of indicator saying not to put the batteries in rubbish bins. Please ignore that in Australia as we have no current battery recycling facilities for hearing aid batteries. So the bin is the safest area. But do not ignore the warnings that say not to put them in the fire because that is definitely not a good idea.